Right, I'm Rob. I've got hundreds of videos on YouTube. I've uploaded endless videos of scooters and motorcycles and mopeds over the years, but I've never spoken on any of my videos. There's a good reason for that. My voice is horrid and I can never normally get my words out of my head in the right order. So I end up talking gobbledygook, which is why I'm normally silent on the videos and then just upload some text in the uh, advert. But there's a bit to say about this motor, so I am braving it and uh, going with the whole chat. So this is my 1992 Ford Escort XR3i. This is the 130 brake model with the uh, discs at the back. I've put the standard wheels back on but I did have multi-spokes on for the time that I had her on the road. I've owned it for about 10 years. I did rescue it. Uh, when I bought it it needed a fair bit of work. It had a replacement driver's door. Uh, it had both rear um, mudguard um, rear mudguard sections replaced not terribly well but they were rotten so um, about six years ago they were replaced both sides and it did have a respray it was repainted all over but it failed its MOT in 2020 it needed um, a fair bit of welding I picked up a Ford Focus ST as an intermediate kind of uh, in-between model and uh, pass this car on to a friend of mine who is rather handy a bit of the, uh, the video welding but he's also very busy so after four years or three or four years or however long it has been in dry storage with a bit of half the work being done to it work has ground to a halt I realize that I'm a, never going to finish it and B, never going to drive it really, even if I do finish it or get it finished. It owes me, well let's put it this way, the money I owe my mate for the welding is probably more than what the car is going to sell for, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So 92XR, uh, 92XR3i, Mark 5, 130 brake. Oh, the MOT failure in 2020. This is the work that needed doing to get it through its test. Suspension ball joint excessive worn, excessively worn near side. I bought a new arm that comes with the car ready to go on. Vehicle structure corroded to the extent that the rigidity, rigidity of the assembly is significantly reduced near side and off side. Seatbelt anchorage, prescribed area strength or continuity significantly reduced offside rear and seatbelt anchorage, prescribed area strength or continuity significantly reduced offside. Outer sill seatbelt anchorage, prescribed strength or continuity significantly reduced offside floor sill. And the service brake was below requirements. That was 2020. That was 2020. Um, so, uh, the guy that did all the welding, Simon, a couple of years ago, he did all the um, passenger side underneath. So it had new outer seal, had a load of welding done. So everything on this side was okay. He has, and I've uploaded a second video into the advert where we're, where Simon's telling me what's been done and what needs to be doing. He is halfway through uh, repairing the sill, inner and outer. I have an outer sill skin that comes with the car. Uh, the main work was with typically the um, chassis rails at the back. Uh, left and right side both were bad trying to find replacement inner and outer, sh outer chassis legs was tricky I've managed to buy probably one of the last 
new old stock it cost me a couple of hundred quid that is a driver's side outer and inner chassis leg and I've got a cover because we were going to repair what was there we went to a uh, end of life escort and removed a good usable second hand uh, passenger side chassis leg and Simon was uh, picking the spot welds out of the back of the escort he was halfway through that before we decided to call it a day so um, it's somebody's uh, somebody's project to finish off obviously the, the fuel tank was removed for, for what work was going to be done to it Unfortunately, an accident occurred while in dry storage. The uh, driver's seat was removed and precariously balanced on the top of the car. Simon went to jack the back of the car up, forgot the seat was on the top. The seat came back, smashed the windscreen and dented the bonnet. So it'll need a new screen and um, a bit of work to the bonnet. But uh, there we go. Accidents happen. That's just the way it is. The interior is pretty well complete. It's quite good. I think it's all there. Yeah. It's got the wing back seats. I did have the um, headlining done a few years ago. Uh, it just needs re-sticking along the front edge, but it, uh, it's not showing too much sign of sagging, which is quite good. The sunroof needs a service because it's been stood for quite a while and, and uh, the mech's kind of locked up. Um, not much really needs to be done to the in inside. The um, the boot, the, the bonnet release catch needs looking at. I've just pulled the cable to release it. The stereo isn't connected up. That's non non original stereo. The carpet for the door bin for the passenger side needs gluing back on. You know, little bits and pieces. I broke the door handle. Um, I've got the outer, it's the inner bit that's broke. I've still got the inner, I've never got around to gluing or repairing it. All the bolts that were removed from the car, the seats and so on to do the welding are, are with the car. So it's back on the standard wheels. Boot floor, boot floor. So spare wheel you can see where Simon has started to pick the uh, spot welds for the old chassis leg and that's as far as we've got there's obviously some more work that needs to be done tidying up if you want to do a full somebody wants to do a full rest I don't know if it's worth doing but uh, that's up to them oh, the rest of the floor it's got the original partial shelf uncut I did remove it. I did put a uh, acoustic shelf. I think it might have been taken, but I put it out with the rubbish. It had sagged. I did have an acoustic shelf in there with some seven by tens and and so on. Like I say, I loved this car for the time that I used it. The only thing that I have removed is the exhaust system. That was the only part on the car that wasn't original spec because it's a Scorpion. I'm yet to measure it. It's either a three or four inch ball. I think it's a four inch ball, but it was a stainless system. And uh, to try and get my money back, I'm going to sell that separately. Unless whoever buys the car wants to buy it with the car and put it back on. That's entirely up to them. So, yeah, our real arch was replaced, but it's starting to go again at the back. That's the uh, passenger side. The skirt's still on because all the work was done. Not too bad. Uh, front bumper's good. I paid a lot of money for the little black um, pieces underneath. They were missing when I got the car. Uh, engine. Uh, this is the 16 valve, 130 horsepower. Uh, it's original, standard, not been messed about with in any way. Um, no issues with it whatsoever. It was last run three years ago. And when the fuel tank was taken out, that was it. So no issues with the motor. Don't know when the belt was changed. But um, 
yeah, no issues just needs uh, a fair bit of bodywork uh, the battery bracket at the back I think is starting to rust but the actual battery floor battery holder is still pretty solid this is a long video there we go I say I've re I replaced the door and had it painted I've still got the red passenger door that came because I had to buy the two doors at the same time so I reckon the car's done 122,326 miles. Yeah. So I've got all the paperwork, all the paperwork from the past, central locking, got the keys. Uh, the number plate is, it's, don't know what it means never known came with the car j5 pkt that's a uh, personalized number plate for whoever had the car before i did put it up for sale i did have some offers but i didn't want the car to be without a plate so um i didn't bother i don't know how to do it I'm not really interested but the number plates worth something to somebody um yeah Right, my number's in the advert. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a call. Come and have a look at it. You're welcome to have a pick and a poke. Obviously, it doesn't run, it doesn't start, it doesn't drive, mainly because the fuel tank's been removed. But once the fuel tank's back in, and a new battery and an exhaust system, it would be uh, on the button again. So, uh, yeah, it needs to be, um, it needs to go on a trailer. I'm not sure how strong the, uh, the the beam, the rear beam, the rear axle beam has just been kind of roughly roughly bolted back in to be able to drop it back on its wheels. Um, so I wouldn't want it to be towed away. It'd have to go on a trailer. But uh, I'd expect it to go on a trailer anyway. Right, any questions? Uh, drop me a call. It's unfortunately now having to be stored outside. It's come out of dry storage, which was behind the red Mazda. Inside that unit, it was in there for four or five years. Uh, it's now outside, and from now on it's going to be outside. So it needs to go. Thanks.